Uh, time now is 616. It may go down as the greatest abduction of a kid committed by kids. Yeah, okay. Two sisters, ages five and seven, managed to walk away from a Minnesota farm with a baby goat. Jana Shortall explains how well the thought out plan was foiled. This is Gabby, just three days removed from the night of her one year old life. Saturday night at about 11.30 at night, we received a 911 call from a citizen in Mankato who saw what she described as two young girls walking down Riverfront Drive, one of our busier streets, with a goat on a leash. In what should go down as the greatest abduction caper in Mankato history, two sisters, ages five and seven, successfully freed this goat from the Sibley Farm Park Saturday night over a mile to their neighborhood when the law finally stepped in after getting that 911 call. When questioned, they said the goat's been living in a closet. Well, then they said that their mom knew, but their dad probably didn't know. And um, they, they thought it was better if we kept it kind of on the down low and didn't tell their dad. This was no fly-by-night goat capping. The girls saw the goat at a birthday party earlier on Saturday and began the elaborate plan then and there. You know, they're crafty. I mean, they really conspired. They brought the leash with them to the park because they had every intent of bringing home a pet goat. But in the end, walking a busy street in footy pajamas toting a goat at five and seven years old did them in. The goat had to go back to the zoo. The girls had to go home. The law, while it was fought, won. You know, it's one of these stories where as a cop, you're, you know, you're shaking your finger at them and you're trying to not bust out laughing. <laughs> Apparently, George Clooney uh, is going to be making a movie about it. Oh, my gosh. That Ocean's is funny. Goat. Ocean's Goat. Mm -hmm. mm. Going to need one more? Yeah. Maybe two? Maybe two. Th more? Maybe three. Two? Yeah. Okay, 13. Yeah. <laughs> All right.